you are as distinguished in the field as John Elkington, a social entrepreneur since the 1970s. He's the father of important concepts in corporate responsibility like the triple bottom line reporting and green consumerism. And he's here in studio with Peter and I all the way from the UK and uh, a huge welcome to you, John. Thanks Thank very much for being on Have Social welcome, Business. John. Thank you. Um, and actually, John, we, we spoke about rating the raters, which yeah. is that initiative out of the UK um, from uh, the company actually you founded or the group which you founded. Mm -hmm. Did you find that was actually quite a controversial thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the second uh, round of this um, work and uh, both times it's been quite political and for, for quite good reasons. I mean people who come into this space of ranking business and, and corporations do it for, for good reasons but they have very different priority issues, they have very different methodologies and when you start to look at these things alongside each other some of the stuff doesn't quite add up and um, so the idea is that we will uh, uh, take some of these models apart and I think it, it, yes, that is political. I must say there's a lot of opaque magic in this. You're never quite sure yeah, yeah, how yeah. the ratings are put together. Yeah. Um, was it difficult in terms of the, uh, the rating agencies that you rated? Um, I have to say I've not been too closely yeah. to, uh, involved in this latest uh, round because I have a, a, a new enterprise in your organization yeah. now but I, I, I think this is enormously timely. I think this is a sector that to some degree needs cleaning up. There are, you, you mentioned over a yeah. hundred uh, 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 approaches in this area. Um, we need better quality uh, control yeah. and I think this is part of that process. And one of the major players, the Dow Jones Sustainability Index, is, has just uh, announced a major internal review of their me methodology. The results to be announced in right. uh, November. I think that's an early and quite brave reflection of the fact I think it's that the really players recognize it as do. well. So, yeah. You mm. were with Sustainability, founded it, still on the board. Now yeah. you've got a new enterprise. Tell us about that, John. Well, after, I mean, anyone who stays over 20 years with an organization has probably overstayed their welcome. But I, I, I have spent 35 years plus working with mainstream business corporations. I love it. Uh, but when I look at the rate of progress in the areas of citizenship and corporate social responsibility and so on, I have to say... Useful progress, yeah. necessary condition of what happens next, but absolutely not what we should be doing in terms of the nature and scale of the transformative change uh, that we need uh, next. So to your question, Peter, uh, we, we set up the new organization, Volance, just over two uh, years ago to work with innovators, entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, and so on, who want to drive things to a very different level, partly in the social space, partly in the environmental space, but actually focusing fundamentally on systemic change not just company by company change. And just two years ago when you, when you started it, we're in the height of the GFC, or the Global Financial <laughs> Downturn. Yes. Uh, interesting timing. How, did, how does that affect the agenda? It's, 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 it's a good time to start any uh, new organisation firstly, because if you survive that, you're going to survive probably anything. I should touch wood, I don't have it to hand. <laughs> um, uh, I have to say that I did expect that this downturn would have a much bigger impact on spending by companies on yeah. this area of uh, corporate responsibility. Uh, there's been much less of an impact than I had expected. Uh, there's been a refocusing, and I think that's actually very healthy. Um, but so far, we haven't seen a great carving away uh, of, we, we, which yeah. we've seen in previous downturns of sort of safety, health, environment being squeezed. I, I think there's generally in Australia as well, mm. the data suggests that. I think looking ahead, you talk about the next decade as yeah. sort of make or break for sustainability. I it is. Uh, in what yeah. way? Well, I think partly because of globalization, because you've got these very large new populations in China and in India and in Brazil and in Indonesia and so on coming into the global market, uh, adopting uh, economic and business models and technologies which we've used in, in, in the West and, you know, are, are, are creaking at the seams a, 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 a bit. And people, somebody recently described uh, China as a carbon copy of the worst, worst of the West in terms of greenhouse emissions, and I think that's what we've got. We, so if we take 1.3 billion people in China and Indian populations and the rest of it, and we, we uh, meet their needs through the, yeah. the, the current economic uh, models, we have a major uh, problem. And that's where this sense of a growing need for a transformative change is coming from. Is there, and particularly with the developed world, um, is there in a sense some way to go in terms of actually demystifying the whole idea of sustainability? Well, I think, uh, it, on the, the one hand, you, you're, you're quite right. I mean, I think w one of the dangers that we have at the moment, it's exciting as well, but sustainability is being embraced as a concept by all sorts of different uh, people. And yet, 
we were talking a moment ago about sort of ranking and rating. Uh, there was a survey done recently in which Petrobras, so a sort of very major fossil fuel company in Brazil, scored 97.44% in terms of sustainability. <laughs> what planet are these people uh, on, really? Um, and, and so I think, you know, it's wonderful that people now speak the language to a degree, but we really have got them to recognize this isn't simply about being nice and being good to a, a few more people. This, this is about the future of capitalism. So are you cautiously optimistic about the future? <laughs> I was born an optimist, so you should discount <laughs> everything I say on uh, uh, all of this. I, I am, Peter, for one reason, because I think when our species gets to points where things really get very, very difficult, that's when people pay attention. And I think this next decade is the crucial one because I think things are going to get very, very difficult. And that's the time when innovators and entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and investors and so on will actually either succeed or, 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 or fail. Now, you seem so well adjusted, but <laughs> I found that you've been in the I sustainability, sustainability there, area since 11. I think you said you were raising money for the World Wildlife <laughs> Fund. And I won't get to what age you've now reached, but. Have you still got fire in your belly for this, or are you just sort of becoming uh, more accepting of the situation? I'm actually 61, just to uh, be uh, completely <laughs> candid. Oh, and a I, youngster. I, and actually, you. I'm, I'm slightly you. worried about the baby, bo baby boomers because they're getting to the point of retiring, and I think we may have a problem as our society is aging, as, a, as they age, in the sense that we need uh, a desire to really um, drive change. I actually find the older I get, the, 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 the more concerned, not the ang uh, angrier I become, but... My, my appetite for, for, yeah. for taking risk, for driving transformative change actually grows. And I'm, I'm surrounded increasingly, luckily, by young people who are very similarly minded and motivated. So. John, we have to leave it there for timing reasons, but we wish we could spend Thanks, much Barbara. more time Thanks, with Peter. you. Thank you so much for your time. And good luck with the Qantas Foundation lecture tonight. Thank you both.